There are few sites in the entire world, few iconic horizons that can make you stop in your tracks and struggle for words. But Mount Everest and its supporting cast of monstrous peaks do exactly that. Just getting anywhere near it, though, a challenge. Days of dangerous weather meant we'd have to helicopter into the Himalayas. Thank you. No airplane pilots were willing. The clouds too thick, visibility too poor. And we'd have to land miles short of our destination. But only hours in, we were treated to one spectacle after another. So headlamps ready, bring gear ready, and uh, off we go, right? Our porter's strength far exceeded their size as they geared up and disappeared in the distance. We, meanwhile, were short of breath and happy to pause for the occasional traffic jam of horses and yaks. But because we had ground to make up, we would have to continue well into the night, unaware of what exactly lie below. It is safe, you know, the both side fence. After a short night's sleep, interrupted by yells to help a fellow trekker remove a leech, yes, they're everywhere at lower altitudes, we start again, motivated by more magical scenery. Each day more inspiring than the last, ancient prayer wheels and massive stone etchings pop out of nowhere, villagers giving us curious stares. Our guide Ganga navigating us over one ridge after another until we arrived in the shadow of the legendary peak Amadabla. We met Lapka, a famous Sherpa who once led the likes of Prince Charles through these epic passes. I don't know why a lot of people spend a lot of money and a lot of people come to put their life on risk on mountain. You think it's crazy? I think so. <laughs> For me, the way to Everest was more than just a bucket list item. I also turned 50 on the trail, and that morning, an unforgettable gift. My first glimpse of what I'd dreamt about for decades, the world's highest peak, all 29,031 feet of it. There it is. Everybody's top of the world. Even you're excited to see it. <laughs> yes, this weather, and June. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And a mansion and a dune on your yes. birthday. Happy birthday. A testament that I still felt young enough to tackle life, even though a complete summit was not in the cards. This, the deadliest year on record, 18 trekkers and climbers lost their lives. And just three weeks later, we learn our helicopter pilot, seen here, talking to me about the conditions. Yeah, the weather is so bad. Crashed the same chopper we rode in, killing everyone on board. Back on the trail, we come to the famed Hillary Bridge, not for the weak of heart. Somewhere around 450 feet, I'm told, above the ground. Rapids below us, windy day, and all of it is awesome. A couple of days later, another grim reminder of the risks. Few places can remind you of just how dangerous it is that Tukla Pass where we are right now, and as you can see, is just scattered with memorials everywhere you look for climbers who died trying to summit Everest and the surrounding mountains. It's like representative of all the things that have the lives and spirits here. Everybody that shared the same passion of climbing these mountains and not worried about giving their lives to do it. The higher we go, the harder on the lungs as we cut through clouds, ledges with little below, and no trees this high up means no timber to burn. Locals reflecting sunlight to heat water and burn yak dung to stay warm. With a week now under our belts, we'd memorize strategies we called Ganga-isms, named after our guide. Be bold, start cold. Be bold, start cold, meaning start cold in the morning. Don't wear too many layers, you'll warm up. What else? Rhythm, not random. Rhythm, not random. Rest is rust. <laughs> rest is rust. Rest is rust. Determined, ignoring minor injuries and small avalanches ahead, 
adrenaline and anticipation take over, and we finally approach base camp. In high season, crowded with climbers' tents, but in late June, completely empty. At 17,600 feet, it is otherworldly, a barren mix of ice and boulders, leading to the ominous Kumbu Icefall. This, where climbers leave to conquer Everest or retreat from it. Yes, Karen, here we are. Get over here, brother. For us, the celebration, a sweet one. You just put 50 miles, eight days, and you get here to this. What do you think? It's pretty wild. I mean, you know, I'm after this about 25 years. Originally at the top, but see what happens. It's pretty special to be here without, like, to have this place solo. We got this place all to ourselves. With the superheroes that brought us. Who gets that? That night, under headlamps and the brilliant Milky Way above, we now really test our mettle. One last push, another thousand feet up to the less visited Kalapatar, exhausted but rewarded by sunrise against one of the seven natural wonders of the world, Everest, in all its unparalleled glory, treating us to a sight unlike any our existence has to offer. From Mount Everest, Scott Thuman, 7 News.